Good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning and it is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And we are cooking Sunday dinner. And today we have for dinner, we're gonna have some loaded baked potatoes. As you guys can see here, I got the Idaho uh, brand, Idahoan brand loaded uh, baked potato, like, a, like the Yala Gratin kind of style, you know? So that should be good. All right, and I have the Publix brand garlic bread sticks. And I have the Main Street Bistro Signature Mac and Cheese. The girls love this. Of course, y'all know I make homemade mac and cheese, but you know, the girls like this too. So I'll go ahead and fix this for them. And you guys already know I have my T-bone steaks that have been marinating overnight. Look at those T-bone steaks. If y'all saw my Publix grocery haul, y'all saw when I got these. So, yep, I got some nice big T-bone steaks on sale at Publix. So, I had those marinating overnight, guys. And this is Sunday dinner, guys. Sunday's best. Um, so, let's go ahead and get started. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we are back. And I am getting ready to get my T-bone steaks panned up. Uh, and you guys already know, it's my Gotham pan. So I'm going to go ahead and spray this with y'all know who, my favorite, Publix Canola Cooking Spray. Live by this stuff. So let's go ahead and get our T-bone steaks in here. Look at that, guys. These are some really nice steaks. I'll show you. Let me get them panned up first. Nice, big, giant T-bone steak. Like, these things are so huge, I can't even fit them. And just pan. Let me see how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm just gonna do it just like that. Oh yeah, that works. Uh, let's turn it like that. Yeah, these T-bone steaks are so big. Let's get our seasons in there. Go ahead and get our seasons back on top here. All our season that fell off. Get that back on top of our steaks. Y'all see how they looking? They look delicious. Nice big T-bone steak, guys. All right. And I'm gonna spray the top of my steak. Now, of course, I had a marinating overnight, guys. Let me take you guys. And of course, I had a marinating overnight. Y'all know how I do. So, they've been marinating overnight. Um, I sprayed the bottom of my pan. Um, I'm just going to put them in the oven and grill them. Um, and as you guys can see, all the seasons are on them. They look delicious. Really nice big T-bone steak. Look, they're so big. I can only fit three in the pan. That's how big they are. And I got these on sale at Publix for like, what, seven or eight bucks, guys, on sale for a T-bone steak. Y'all know T-bone steak usually costs about $20 just for one. But y'all know me. Y'all know I'm cheap. Don't do that. Y'all know I'm cheap. So, all right. It's not that I'm cheap. I'm just smart with my money. I've learned over the years and things that I've been through to be smart with my money. And don't just spend. Don't just, you know. That's a whole other video, guys. Anyway. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these T-bone steaks in the oven. Um, and I'm also coming back. I'll show you guys. I'm going to get the potatoes uh, situated to go in the oven as well with the steak. So, that the steak and the potatoes are both cooking together. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back, and we are getting ready to get our potatoes done, our potatoes done. The loaded baked potatoes, home style. Uh, all right, and so let me see. It looks easy. It says here all we need is one and a half cup of boiling water. And as you guys can see, I've got that boiling on the stove. And we've got our garlic bread over here hanging out, ready to be eaten. Um, so I've got my water boiling. I've already turned the stove off. So we've got our one and a half cup of boiling water, three fourth cups of milk. I've got that over there. Three fourth cups of milk. And the one tablespoon of butter. And you guys see, I've got the one tablespoon of butter hanging out in our pan. Okay, let's see what we gotta do. Preheat the oven. I've already got the oven preheated because I've got our steaks in the oven cooking. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Okay, here we go. 
preheat oven 450 combine potatoes and sauce mix in one and a half quart bacon dish stir one and a half cup of boiling water three fourth cups of milk and the one tablespoon of the butter bake uncover for 25 minutes until top is golden brown i've done this before anyway it's easy i just wanted to show you guys the instructions how easy and quick it is so all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and do that and get the potatoes in the oven and i will be back guys so that you guys see how the steak look the potatoes look we've got our garlic bread already um what else we got all right so i'm gonna put the potatoes in the oven once i get everything mixed up my boiling water is ready for me my garlic bread is over there hanging out for me to put in the oven our steaks are in the oven already so i'll go ahead and throw the potatoes in there and just wanted to show you guys you guys know i'm up early i got some homemade chocolate chip oatmeal raisin cookies that i made this morning for the fam so i i uh, did record it guys and of course i'll be uploading that video you guys are getting a sneak peek so all right, guys, I will be uploading that video. Let me go ahead and get these potatoes together, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I just wanted to come back and show you real quick the um, Bistro Street macaroni and cheese. Um, easy, quick and easy, guys. Um, you just puncture the top, the plastic top. Um, microwave for three minutes. Take the plastic covering off. Put it back in the microwave for two or three more minutes. And I've already done that. Quick and easy uh, mac and cheese for the girls. And of course you guys know, no, the parsley didn't come in here. I added the parsley. Y'all know I added the parsley. Don't do that. Don't laugh. Y'all know I'm always adding parsley to everything. So as you guys can see, let me zoom in instead of trying to go in where that smoke is. As you guys see, it looks delicious. The girls love it. They love this mac and cheese. It ain't my homemade, but they love it. They love it, y'all. So, you know how kids are. They love it. So, check y'all. Zoom y'all in. It's really good. Y'all know I, how I am. I'm going to add a little salt to it, a little pepper. You know, I'm going to give it a little something, something to make it taste good. Because sometimes these macaroni and cheese just be bland. But, you know, I'm add, I've added a little salt, a little pepper, a little parsley. Um, and just, you know, mix that in there for the girls. Tastes good. They love it. They love this mac and cheese. So, I'm always adding something. But yeah, guys, that is the mac and cheese. Quick and easy. And they look like them steaks. They about ready to come out, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we are back. And this is the finito, the final uh, vision of our Sunday dinner. I uh, just took the steaks out. They look amazing. They look delicious. Those T-bone steaks, they look amazing. So the T-bone steaks are done. Our um, baked potato uh, are all done. The mac and cheese is done. And the garlic bread is done. Everything is done, guys. This is our Sunday dinner. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. And don't forget, of course, you guys know, Knowledge is power. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day. Bye.